everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Would you like to know what I've been doing today? Well, just stick around and you'll hear it, I'm sure. I was, because I've been gaining weight. Yes, I have. I've been gaining weight. Those of you that think I'm thin, I'm not as thin as you think I am. I am probably a good 20 pounds more than I should be. So, I've decided that I'm going to try something more because I'm I'm eating pretty much, even though I have not been eating true keto and I've not been eating true Mediterranean either. So, I'm kind of just low carb, I guess I would be considered. And finding that my age has, has really given me a, a challenge. And if I could figure it out, I'd be a millionaire, wouldn't I? If I could figure out the the exact, formula. The exact formula. Yes. So what I'm going to do, I started to say, I'm going to try and have just my coffee with just the half and half. I've been putting my protein powder in it because it gives it just that teeny bit of sweetness that I need and I'd like but now I'm going to try. So I may be drinking not very much coffee anymore because it took me two years to figure out how to, actually almost three years, to figure out how to make it taste pretty good. And now I'm going to try something again. Because when I took the sugar out, I dropped. My weight went from, I'll tell you what I weigh. Mm -hmm. I, and those of you that think that that's not a lot, it's a lot for a person that's only five feet tall. You have to remember, I'm only five feet, so I weighed 120 pounds, and my normal weight is like 98, 100 at the most. And I went down to 105, but I never did make it to the 100. And now I'm back up to, the, now I'm up to 124, so that's even worse. So I'm going to try and take the sugar out. So. Anybody that wants to try to follow along with me you're, you're, and you figure out the formula, you can let me know when you figure it out. I'm going to try to just have coffee with maybe just the half and half because I can't drink it black yet. I, could, I would not drink it at all if I drank that. I have about 43 more jumps to do, skips to do. More. Today is a 200 day. Today I'm supposed to do 200. And I did do a few with my granddaughter earlier, but I didn't count them, so I have to do the rest of them now. I will do them when this video is done. I didn't want to do them before because, you know, it takes my breath away. It's like the song or something, take my breath away, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a song, but I can't think of how it goes. And that is it. So we're going to, and I got eight eggs, did I say? Yeah, I think, I, think I said I got eight eggs. You know, every day it's 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 a challenge to even remember how many eggs I got because I bring them in and then I mark the date on them and put them away. And it's quite a few eggs. I gave Jessica three dozen eggs today and told her that if she wanted to, she could use them or she could try to sell them, whichever she wished to do. So I think she's going to pickle them. She's She likes pickled eggs, so she's going to pickle them. The eggs and she will enjoy them that way and then I told her she should have her family eat eggs maybe um, either scramble eggs we used to eat we used to eat a lot of eggs with pasta I forgot what it's called carbon carb, carb, carbonara, carbonara a pasta carbonara um, we used to scramble the eggs in that with the cheese and a little bit. Of, sometimes you put bacon in if you like. You don't have to put the bacon in because it could be a Friday meal. We have Fridays, we never had meat on Friday. So it would be just the eggs with the pasta. And so that's your protein. And it was, oh, it was so good. But, you know, I can't have the darn carbs. So I guess I'm not making, I'm not making it. But Jessica could make it and her kids can enjoy it. She doesn't have a weight problem. Not yet. She's still, she's 30 years younger than me. My weight changed when I, when I hit like, well, about 57 is when I really noticed the weight going on. When I was 53, it was still okay. That was when my hair was starting to go gray, <laughs> but my weight was okay. And 
that's it for today. So we're going to let you, we'll keep you informed how I do or don't do. We're hoping that I can drop the pounds and get back. Because Jim said today, <laughs> he says, when your belly touches the wall before your nose, it means you've got too much in front. My belly just bit. Excuse me, my belly just barely touched. I almost choked on that one. But um, it just barely touched. And so that means if you if you walk up to the wall and go to touch your nose to the wall, standing straight and your belly touches first, you need to do something too. So that's it. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.